Live from Steam Attic, it's Fun Day Friday with your hosts Deidre and April. Good morning, everybody. Hi. Uh, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We're so glad that you're here. And we have a lot of fun things to talk about today. Um, we are going to start with our coat drive. We've been talking about our coat drive for about a month now, maybe a little more, and it is coming to a close next Wednesday. So we're really trying to get that final push for everybody. We've had a lot of great donations. We have, especially this week. It's, it's really poured in. Mm -hmm. and, we're, and we're thankful. We are very thankful. Um, we are looking for coats, of course, but we've expanded it, as we said, to shoes, gloves, hats, beanies, scarves. Like we said, anything to help keep someone warm this very cold winter, I believe. Um, and if you're looking for or wondering, well, I've got coats, but where do I take them? We have a few different drop-off locations. Um, the Chamber of Commerce on Grand here in Hot Springs, and also the Dance Art Studio on Airport uh, Road. And of course, we love to see faces come in, so you want to come into our shop at 112 Jefferson. We're here Monday through Friday from 8 to 4, and we'd love to see you. Come see us. Yeah. Um, um, so, yeah. <laughs> and we're going to donate to the Salvation Army, the Call of Samaritan Ministries, and Potter's Clay. Yep. And then as soon as it's over next week, we're going to be doing a food drive that we're starting for the Jackson House. Um, we'll be talking more about that in the future, but just kind of keep that in mind that we're going to be doing a food drive pretty coming up. Now the fun stuff, which is the holidays. And April is going to share with you some safety tips first. Yes. So a lot of times for the holidays, what do people do? Well, they travel and they go see mm -hmm. family. So just some quick tips to do when, if you're leaving your house, just quick, safe, preventative things to do to protect yourself from the mold or water or fire damage. Uh, first off, turn the water off. Turn the water off up the street if you can. Timber's very excited. He's, He's here. <laughs> <laughs> um, turn the water up at the street. That's always a very uh, good idea to do. Also, set the temperature on your thermostat. Um, this winter around, around 65. Keep in mind if you're leaving in the summer for a vacation or whatever, set your thermostat at 75. Also, if you have ceiling fans in your home, turn on a couple of ceiling fans to help that air circulate. And also, very importantly, if you have any vaulted ceilings and you have a ceiling fan in that area, please turn that on too. That's going to help to prevent um, the breeding ground for mold to happen. So just really good simple tips for that. And then we have some good tips for fire safety, and especially with the Christmas trees. One in four winter fires are caused by a heat source too close to your tree. So remember to keep all heat sources three feet away, such as the fireplace, the space heaters, the radiators. Please also read the instructions for your Christmas lights. You need to know how many you can connect to one strand. Do not overload your electrical outlets. Please get a power surge, things of that sort. If you have a real tree, please water it every day. We don't need any Clark Griswolds, okay? So just watch how many lights you put on those trees. <laughs> please. And now April's going to share a good cleaning tip for all of the festivities. Yes, you've had people over and maybe Aunt so-and-so spilled a little wine on the floor. That's okay. We have a real quick tip to help take care of that. Um, when you're cleaning, first off, um, make sure that you blot the spot that you have a spill on. Please don't scrub it in because that might make it worse. Um, and also, you want to take a, a, a rag and lay it across it, a, a clean white washcloth, and lay it on top of it to help absorb some of it. And then if you need another additional rag, lay that on top too. Make sure that they're white and dry. And then what you want to do is take some books or something with a little bit of weight and put it on top and leave it on there like overnight because what's going to happen is that stain, that wine stain that you have is going to wick into the washcloths that you have on there. If you do that trick and it works, awesome. If it doesn't and you need us, please give us a call. We're here to help. 501-321-1191 yep. or 565-0922. And now we're going to share some fun stuff. Thawing that turkey. Please move it to your fridge. It is happening this weekend. And actually, today, if you have a 20 to 24 pound turkey, move it into your fridge. So you might need to clean some space, but 
if you want to eat that turkey on next Thursday for Thanksgiving, move it to the fridge today. Yep. If it's 16 to 19 pounds, do that tomorrow. If it's 12 to 15 pounds, do that on Sunday. If it's four to 11 pounds, do that on Monday. And then again, this weekend, make sure you're cleaning that space out for that turkey so it is ready to gobble mm -hmm. on Thursday. Yep. And then we're also gonna share a quick recipe, something that's non-traditional. I know April and I both like cauliflower mm -hmm. as a substitute to mashed potatoes. We're not knocking mashed potatoes. We still love them. Oh yeah. Something new to cook is a loaded cauliflower casserole. It takes about 45 minutes. It serves 12 people. So you might need to double that or triple that depending on how many people are in your family. Um, and you can also save the extras in the freezer and bring them back out. So you're gonna use cauliflower florets, cut those into bite-sized pieces. One box of cream cheese, make sure that's soft. Half a cup of sour cream, one and a half cups of sharp cheddar cheese, finely shredded, and then another one and a half cups of the Monterey Jack, finely shredded. And then you're also gonna add just a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of onion powder, six slices of crispy bacon. If you have an air fryer, please use that. Chop it up. Don't substitute for bacon bits. Believe me, I've done this. It doesn't work. And then also a quarter cup of fresh chopped chives. Make sure they're fresh. It makes a difference. And then salt and pepper to taste. You're making me hungry. I'm already it's hungry. It's 9 o'clock in the morning and you're making me hungry. I know it. Now i got to tell you how to make it. <laughs> so real quick, you're going to steam that cauliflower. It takes about 10 minutes, just like broccoli. Make sure it's fork tender. Drain that well and then preheat your oven, grease your dish, however large you need to make it. And then in the large bowl, combine all of the cheeses, the sour cream and the seasonings, mix until smooth, stir that into the cauliflower, kind of folding, add half of the bacon and the chives, and then add salt and pepper, spoon it into the dish, top it with the rest of the bacon, bake uncovered for 20 to 25 minutes, pull it out, top it with the remaining chives, and you can find this recipe at www.smalltownwoman.com And now April is going to Tell me something good We love five star reviews so much and we really appreciate all of our customers taking that extra step to share with us how the team is doing. Um, this week Mr. Marshall shared that Renee made sure to explain everything he was going to do and the benefit. He took his time to make sure the ducts, the blower, and the coil in our AC was cleaned up. Renee, you're always very Ooh, thorough. Thank you so we much. We love you, Renee. And then Miss Chris said that we were the best ever. Wonderful experience. Will definitely use us in the future. Go Steam Team. Woo woo. Uh, we also heard from uh, Miss Stefanski. She said, great job, quick work, very resp respectable, and did a great job. And that is a shout out to Dalton. So, yay, Dalton, Good thank Dalton. you very much. We also heard from Miss Steele, excellent professional service. I am and will continue to be a returning customer. And that is a shout out for Isaiah. So, yay. Good job, Isaiah. Yay. Okay, now um, we're going to talk about our pet of the week. We love that. Um, this week, if you check out our... Um, Steamatic of Arkansas Facebook page, you'll see that we are going to talk about a sweet little kitten named Lux, a little boy kitten. He is a lover boy. Um, he's about eight to nine months old, and he's great with other cats. And he's actually coming from the Hot Springs Animal Services, and he is a sponsored adoption. So check out our Facebook page and see if he might be a fit for your home. And there's information on there on how to reach out to them if you think you would like to adopt him. So go Lux, and thank you so much for uh, to this, to them for helping us find animals to adopt. And now we're done. So yeah. all you have to do is call us as soon as possible because our schedule is filling up it's, very quickly yes. for the holidays. Yep. And when I mean quickly, we might have a few spots for the week of Thanksgiving. And then after that, we already have appointments set for the following two weeks. So please call us. If you mention this Facebook Live, you can receive $25 off of your services of $150 or more. Who doesn't like to save money? I, do. I mean, give us a call. Like She's right. We're filling up quite fast. So 
if you have a certain timeline and you know your family's coming, give us a call. We want to help you. And you can follow us on all of our social media. That's Facebook, Steamatic of Arkansas. We also have the Steamatic Rug Cleaning Company. And then again, on TikTok, we have a Steamatic of Arkansas. On Instagram, we have that same handle. And then we also have a YouTube if you just want to check out some of our videos. Oh, yeah. And please, please bring us your coats. Thank you so much for those that have already given. And you'll have a great week. Happy Friday. Woo -hoo!